Hello my dear, this is Joel Kumar Sen. Well, I am back with another total well and this is also a part of my thermodynamics total well. Well, the name of the total today I am going to discuss about continuum approach. Well, this is one of the most important topic in thermodynamics because in case of continuum approach, we stated about a few important things. And what are those things I am going to tell you. So let me share with you what is exactly continuum approach and let me relate this approach with thermodynamics in other uh, other terms of with other terms of thermodynamics that's why you can visualize it you can understand it what is it exactly so let me share with you the definition of continuum approach so uh, the definition is the matter is treated in this case as continuous and in this the behavior 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 of individual individual molecule is not is not studied so what we do we do we take or we are interested in average behavior so what is it what that mean that means in case of continuum approach we studied about or we are interested in average behavior of molecule that means in case of continuum approach we disregard we do not consider the individual molecule behavior so what does that means that means uh, this is an average analysis this is not a statistical analysis so if i will compare this approach i mean continuum approach this particular approach with two other approaches of thermodynamics so what are those approaches maybe you don't know so let me share with you what are those approaches those approaches are microscopic and microscopic okay let me just slide this yes and macroscopic these two approaches are just really awesome why I'm saying this because if you will not understand these two approaches then you will not understand thermodynamics base because in thermodynamics let me share with you one testing part of thermodynamics in thermodynamics we do not study it we do not study it individual molecule behavior we studied about average behavior so continuum approach is also known as or you can say it is just like similar to macroscopic approach because in case of thermodynamics we studied macroscopic approach not micro so this is like that only we need to understand what is it exactly well i hope uh, you got something so let me share with you one most important thing that is known as you know laser beam technology or uh, i mean vacuum technology missile technology i mean in case of missile suppose this is an example i mean uh, let me take you example uh, in case of what we do in case of missile technology in case of missile technology this approach loses validity i mean we cannot use continuum approach or macroscopic approach this approach we cannot use in case of missile technology because this in case of missile technology these two approaches are not valid in case of missile technology we use microscopic approach because it requires such type of capability that's why it can i mean we can analyze we can analyze I mean, in uh, in molecular level that's why we can understand all those things what is going on there and uh, in case of uh, i mean thermodynamics and in case of study we do not do not uh, require such things 
well uh, thanks for watching and uh, i hope you got and you understand what is continuum approach with this missile technology this uh, macro microscopic and microscopic approach well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye